Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang and I have been teaching college mathematics for nine years. And when we think of proportions, we generally think of fractions. Now, problems involving fractions aren't our favorite in the world. However, once you actually set up the problem, it's actually fairly easy to do them as long as you know the strategy. Setting it up is the hard part. So once you get past that hurdle, it's smooth sailing from there. So here's a basic, basic example and here we go. If five apples will bake two pies, how many apples will bake 10 pies? So obviously the two things that you are comparing are apples and pies. Easy as pie. Now, what we have here is you have to make a decision as to which you want to be on top and which variable you want to be on the bottom. Now, because apples is mentioned first and pie second, what you might want to do is create a ratio involving apples over pies. Now, the first comparison is that you have five apples and two pies. So basically, you would have five for apples over two for pies. Now, what you're going to have here is another fraction on the other side of the equal sign. Now, how many apples? Now, since you don't know how many apples, but you do know it's on top, let's just put x for the numerator, and then 10 pies will be 10 at the bottom. Now, to solve any proportion problem, when you have one fraction on one side and one fraction on the other side, you simply cross multiply. What that means here is you take one denominator and you multiply it with the numerator on the other side. So you have 2 times x is 10x. And then you do it the same way for the other fraction. Take the other denominator and multiply it with the numerator on the other side. So 10 times 5 is going to give you 50. All of a sudden, you have a much easier e equation to work with now. All you need to do here is divide both sides by 2. So you're left with x equals to 25. That means to bake 10 pies, you will need a total of 25 apples, which is a lot of apples. But once you know how to set it up, solving it becomes easy as pie. So I'm Jimmy, and that's how you solve problems using proportions.